Anyway, what time is it? It's time to dive into yet another big ass out from whom? From Evil Twin Brewing out of Brooklyn, New York. New York, you as a fan. Yay, yay. And what beer is that? Ha <laughs> ha. It's their Bozo Beer. As I suggested previously, this is an Imperial Stout. It's a limited serving. It's clocking in at 17.2% ABV and between 50 and 100 plus IBUs. Now, this beer, like many of their other beers, is all about the adjuncts, but this one even more. Not just the fact that it's a huge ass 17.2% ABV stout. No, this has 12 freaking adjuncts in it. What are those adjuncts? They are molasses, lactose, chocolate, almond, hazelnut, vanilla bean, cinnamon, <laughs> chile, marshmallow, coffee, muscovado sugar, and what? Oak spiral. So, it's got everything except bourbon barrel in it. And it's got oak, so I guess it's got some kind of barrel type component. So this sounds pretty freaking gigantic. At time of recording, I wanted to get this one fresh because of all those adjuncts, they can fade fast. This is nine days in the can. This is, this is probably the freshest Evil Twin beer that I've ever had. So let's crack the top and dive in. Ah, nice crack on hiss off the top. Let's get it into the snafta. You know, I'm hoping this isn't going to be a freaking booze bomb. 17.2% is pretty gigantic. I mean, you know what? I'm used to drinking big stouts, but that's pretty burly. So, uh-oh, we're going to have to cheat a little bit and drink some off the top here. So, let's talk about the appearance besides the head that's erupting out of the glass. So, we've got a body that is black, black as night, black as pitch. We've got a solid, I'd say, finger and a half of super tightly packed bubbles. And when I swirl it, I don't have a lot of room in the glass, as you can see, by the head that erupted over top of the glass. But I think we're going to get some nice glass legs and alcohol legs, even with this little tiny bit of space that's up at the top of the glass here, are just clinging and curtaining down the inside of that. Look at that, guys. That is a beautiful black as night sort of stout in the glass. So we've cleaned up. The beer has to smell good also, especially when you have 12 adjuncts in the brew. So you know what we got to do now? Are you ready for it? we got to dive in for the aroma! Wow. Wow. The vanilla is big and the almond is right behind it. There's a big vanilla and sort of nutty aroma. I guess that's the almond and the hazelnut. Tons of chocolate, tons of coffee. Wow. Mm, there's a big driving sweetness in the background. I mean, hell, there's molasses, muscovado sugar in here. Wow. And marshmallow. That's all basically sugar, sugar, and more sugar. Tons of chocolate, leather. I'm not getting really any oak in here. The cinnamon's there. Maybe a little hint of the chili in the background. Man, tons of layers of flavor. I'm getting coconut as well. There's not coconut in this. I'm surprised they didn't throw that in there as well, but I'm getting a little bit of coconut. Mm, but the vanilla and the nutty aroma are big, followed by chocolate, caramel, toffee. Mm, man, this smells freaking delicious. If it tastes half as good as it smells, I'm going to be a happy man. Let's dive in. Cheers! Wow. <laughs> Damn. For a 17.2% beer, what? What? It does not taste like 17.2%. That alcohol is super, super well hidden. I'm surprised. I was expecting a freaking booze bomb. No way. This is way more viscous and thick than any of the even more sort of series, you know, more Coco, more Mokoa, more uh, Jesus, more of this, and Un Masa Todo, all those that they create out of their stout series. Super thick, slick, gloopy sort of body. Sweetness is definitely there. What I get at first, let me take another hit here. Up front, you get coffee. After that, chocolate, sweetness, like driving sort of brown sugar sweetness. I guess that's coming from the molasses. After that, the almond and the hazelnut. I'm, I can't pick between the two sort of uh, nuts that are in there, but there's definite nuttiness. Then the vanilla comes in. Cinnamon is definitely there. Maybe it may be a slight bit of like sort of chili kind of heat in there, but wow, 
The only thing I get for alcohol in this is a little bit of warming in the chest, and it's 17.2%. That's freaking crazy. Wow. Let me take another taste of this. This is an excellent beer. Wow. Good amount of chocolate. The coffee's a little bit muted by all the other flavors that are in there, but there's a definite roastiness, so I guess maybe that's the coffee. I don't know. It might be the malt that's in there as well, but chocolate. Lots and lots of driving layers of flavor. I suspect this would sell her awesome too at 17.2%. This was not an inexpensive beer. I think this can was like $8.99 or something like that. But wow, for the flavor that this is packing, I'd say it's, it's a value for the flavor that this is packing. This is a damn tasty brew. Tons of layers of flavor. Wow. I was worried because they call this kind of beer sort of like a pastry beer because it's got so many adjuncts in it. And, but still, they work somehow. So, let's grade it. At time of recording, Beer Advocate is giving this 4.24 out of 5 caps. That or, or caps, sorry, points for those guys. That's definitely sort of the A range for sure for those guys. And Untap is giving this 4.28 caps, because they use the cap system, out of 5. I would say that's definitely the very high A range for them, because 4.5 is sort of in the A+. Plus. Let me take a taste and give you my grade. The fact that there's so many adjuncts in there that, and it works, it's got the full body that you expect out of a stout. For 17.2%, that alcohol is really, really well hidden at 17.2%. Um, I'm going to go 98. This is A plus range for me. For so many adjuncts in there, I was worried that this was going to be a hot mess and like a boozy mess. It's totally not that. This is crazy, crazy drinkable for what it is. Don't be a bozo. Give bozo beer a try. Don't be thrown off by the name. This is a freaking stunner. I'm digging it. Yum. I, I might even buy another one to sell her to see how it develops because it tastes like some dark fruits may develop in this over time. Boom. Bravo. Evil Twin Brewing. So, have you had bozo beer? If you have, let me know what you know because I like to quit bro bro. <laughs> Oops. Knocking my set over here. The back and forth. I also really like it when you do what? You guys know. Think globally, drink locally, and support the craft beer movement. And it, it, it is exceedingly cool when you rate, comment, subscribe, especially if this is your first time with us. And if you can get around to it, maybe not knock the set down. Mm -mm. Smash that like button because that, along with definitely, definitely only one can, especially a, a pounder of 17 point, point bleh, I can't even speak now. A pounder of 17.2% ABV is all <laughs> I'm definitely going to need tonight to put my big ass happy face on. Or maybe it's my bozo face. So, next TJ Brew 2, I got nothing but a hell of a bunch of bozo beer drinking love for you. Know what's coming? That's right. Are you ready for it? Are you? I think so. Here it comes. A big pizza!